my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a look with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Prism Palette. If you want to see how I create this look using the Prism Palette, just keep on watching. And to everyone who's watching today, welcome and push the subscribe button and the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. And hey, Welcome, I love to have you as part of the Urban Beauty community. So let's get right on into this. I look for today. I don't know what it's gonna look like. I'm just winging it. But hey, it's gonna come from this marvelous palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. Here we go. I've already primed my eyes and I primed with the Natasha, no, Natasha, Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer right here. Y'all can see that. Okay, prime my eyes with that. And I also went over with my little paint pot, matte paint pot. And it was an NC45. This is where I normally keep all my concealers. So I've already done that. So let's go ahead and get into this look. Let me get a brush. And the brush I'm going to be using is a Morphe brush. There's no number on this brush, but it is Morphe. Y'all can see that. Okay. Camera didn't focus like I thought it would, but hey. I'm going to go to a light color. And the color I'm going to go into is called Saturn. This color right here. Hope it's focusing. Hold up. Let me get closer to y'all, let y'all see that. It's right here. Oh, where am I going? Right there. Hope it picks up. Okay. Move that plastic out of the way. Just flew on the floor. Oh, ah. Okay. Tap right in. Here we go. Nice, pretty color. I haven't used this palette in a little while. I've been trying to make sure that I give all my palettes a chance because sometimes I can buy palettes and forget that I have them. So I'm trying to get back into getting all my palettes a chance, another chance. I want to be able to use all my palettes because I want all my money's worth out of my palettes. And for me, I don't draw. You know, you find a lot of makeup artists uh, that do a lot of drawing and things. You know, all that pretty flowers and trees and birds and like a lot of funny stuff, which I like too. But... I found that they use a lot of product and when I buy my eyeshadow palettes I buy them for makeup looks everyday makeup looks something I can even wear to work so that's what I tend to do uh, more on a glam is what I really like I like a lot of glam so I don't I tend not to gravitate gravitate towards uh, pictures and stuff like that. I do multicolor um, eyeshadow looks, you know, but that's just my preference. I love all those beautiful colors, the beautiful artwork that they do on their eyes, but that's just not what I'm about. I want to mainly focus on the eyeshadows that are in the palette and work with them to please the eye and more of a fancy glamorous um even artistic way in a way but just not with all the birds and flowers and things like that i still may but for right now that's not really what i'm into okay if that makes sense
I want to uh, start experimenting with stuff like that. I just not I just haven't gotten to that point. Basically, because if you don't already know, I am blind in my left eye. So with those different eye looks, the very artistic birds and things like that, and you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, it takes a, to me. I feel like it takes a lot of focus, and I do practice on things like that, but I just haven't gotten to that point. I think I can, but I just, like I said, haven't got to that point yet. I'm gonna really start getting into that though. I think it's really nice. Everybody who's able to do all that kind of stuff is really talented. I'm talented. I just feel like they take it to another level. And I really want to get to that level too, as far as the drawings and things like that. But then the two, I feel like I'll, I'll, I will be wasting my palettes. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then too, I believe some of that artwork is from the different paints. And I haven't worked with paint, honestly. I haven't worked with paint, so. And I wouldn't know how to do that with an eyeshadow palette, so. Put it that way. So far, this is a very pretty color. Hope y'all can see and my lights aren't washing it out. It's, I can have a lot of lights around here and here and here, so. So hopefully you all can see. But I do believe you all will like the look when I'm finished. Like I said, I don't really know what I'm going to do. Just winging it as normal. I miss you all. I did several um, of my videos in one week. So that's the reason why I didn't, haven't come back so fast. But I have many more videos to come. So stay tuned to that. I have uh, new palettes and things that's, that are coming. So that's actually what I'm waiting on. So it's not that I'm not filming. It's just that I'm waiting on some new products to come. Some new deliveries to come in. There's been some new launches that's dropped that I haven't gotten a chance to try. And they are coming too. So that's the reason why I have not filmed in maybe a week. So charge to my head, not my heart, that you have not seen me in about a week. Okay. Okay. Next color we're going to try is I want to go a little bit deeper. I think I want to call in the palette color Osiris, which is this kind of blue color right here. I don't know if you can see that. It's right here. Oh, wait a minute. Right here. I don't know if it's focusing. But it's called Old Cyrus. Right there. Okay. So I'm going to that color now. I'm going to put that color in the crease. Okay. Right in the crease. Hope you all can see that. Have it up. Deepen it crease a little bit. Like I said, I don't know what I'm going for, so. But I am going to work. I had to be at work at 6. That's why I'm starting so early. Because I don't know what I'm going for. Happy Easter to everybody. I keep forgetting today's Easter. Easter came late this year. I think that's the reason why I forgot all about it. But it came late this year. I'm used to Easter being like the last week of March, first week of April. Or the first Sunday of April. But we ain't back in the day no more. So I guess that's what 
you know, the times are changing. I'm not liking this brush right here, and this was the Morphe E18. But I think I want to go a little bit bigger. This is the Morphe E17, which is a little bit bigger, a little bit more fluffy than this one. See, see the difference? This one is bigger. So I'm going to use this one, this one instead. Now, there you go. That's, that's it. That's what I'm looking for. It's applying a little bit faster, a little bit more. I think I'm going to do a halo eye. Haven't done a halo eye in a while. So I believe that's what we're going to go for somewhat of a halo. I am going to my eight. Let me see. Today is uh, day six of work. I'm heading. I'm doing eight days this time. This go around. So I want to film as much as I can because I know I'm gonna be tired. These are eight twelves or fourteen. It depends. A lot of people don't like to show up on time for work, so. You end up doing those extra hours, and it happens to me pretty often. A little bit more calm today, but I believe I will be more hyper when my boxes get here. All my deliveries, I got like maybe four coming in. Some are products that are new. The new launch and then we have a few that are old that I want to try I was like debating on getting them so that's what that's all about and I believe I will be super hype y'all know how I get for those who have been here I really want to saturate this eye I want it to really pop I want it to be like really pretty Yeah, so my next coming videos are going to be very hyper. I think the next video I'm going to be um, filming will be on Tuesday. And then I'll be off. So I'm working. I worked last night, tonight, and tomorrow I'll be off Tuesday. So tonight makes March night number seven. Tomorrow will be night number eight. And I finally get an off day. So that's what's going on. I worked last Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, I mean Monday, Wednesday, Friday, something like that. So it'll be a total of eight days. Okay, let's go over to the other eye, starting in the crease. And no, I did not tap off. I tend not to tap off a lot because I want all the pigmentation I want all my eyeshadow I, I waste not my eyeshadow but it is turning out pretty good so far and that color I noticed matches my lace little jacket hope you can see that how it's coming in so far Okay, we definitely got the halo going. I think I want a nice silvery color in the middle. Really make the eye pop. You may see me look over here to the left a little bit because I'm looking at my monitor. I want to make sure you all can see me pretty good. So that's the reason why I keep looking over to the left. My, I'm filming now on my computer. 
typically film on my phone, but my phone is limited on data. I uh, use a lot of pictures. I do snap a lot of photos, sometimes videos, and I have a lot of apps on my phone, which I probably don't need. But yeah, so I, I got a lot of space that's used up, so I'll probably go through my phone tonight and try to delete a lot of stuff. If I can remember, hopefully tonight's Sunday, so you got a lot of my residents that'll probably be out with their family members tonight. They have a program and things that they might be going to your church, and their families come pick them up and take them out for a while, so they may get medications and stuff late. So hopefully tonight will be a nice, peaceful night. Not too busy. Then too, they have sundowners, so they go to bed early. Some of them get exhausted really quick, and you know how that goes with when you're working on memory care unit. They have sundowners. They don't know, you know, day from night. If you don't know what sundowners mean, uh, they don't know day from night. Sometimes, so they tend to go to bed earlier than a normal. They go to bed like seven, eight. Once they get their meds, they're knocked out most of the night. They sleep through the night pretty good, most of them. But then we do have those wonders. They'll start waking up and saying, it's time to eat breakfast or stuff like that. So, hey. And like I said, I am using the Prism Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can see that. Very nice palette that I have not been using like I should. But I have most of the palettes, I believe. I think there's seven newer ones. I really want the old brand, the old ones that they had. That's a nice palette. I want the entire collection, the new and the old. But I think they're a limited edition. They may not even have those even in back stock or anything anywhere. So, But if I, I wish I could get them. Okay, let me grab my other brush that I had earlier and blend those colors in together, which was Saturn. Take a little bit of Saturn, just a little bit, so we can blend those edges out. You want them to be nice and smooth, but yet you still see the beautiful gradient between colors. I'm kind of glad I'm not filming on my phone because I can also keep up with the time. Because it'll be 5.30, 5.45 and I'll be just putting on lashes and rushing to get out the door. So, let's see. Making good time. It's 4.17. We ain't going to take that long in this item. But I'm, just, I'm just saying, sometimes I don't start on time. Now we're blending these colors out to this side. Give a good gradient, a really pretty blend. Hope everybody's having a wonderful day today. I noticed uh, YouTube changed their um, a little bit of their policy as far as uh, how many subscribers you may have is I mean to be able to do a live stream either that or you have to do webcam so but mostly I think a lot of people do webcam anyway I really want to get back into filming with my camera too I really need to give my camera a chance my uh, actual camera, not my computer, not my phone. I'm talking about my actual camera. But I'm still figuring that camera out. It's an older model camera, but I do want to use it. Either that or trade it for something with a little more quality. Um, a more high-tech camera. I know I'll start getting that stuff maybe in the future. But right now, it's you know kind of up in the air. I don't really know about, you know, cameras and filming, but I'm learning as I go. But I really want to start using my camera. 
I have these attachments to my lights that my camera can fit on. So that's what I want to do and it takes up less space. But then two, I want to pick a nice background for my, uh, like that over there is really pretty. Let me show you guys, let y'all see. Like this area over here behind my lights is really pretty where the twinkling lights are. That, that uh, background is really cute. I like that area. So I don't know. Or I need a, I may just get rid of the entertainment center here and use that as my backdrop or something. But I do have backdrops. They're in the, my closet over here. So hey, we'll see. I'll work that out. Okay, we've blended this color. Now, do I need to actually do a, let me see, cut crease, maybe, maybe, let's see, maybe do a little bit of a cut crease in the middle, let's see, my son should be coming over in a minute, so you'll see him in a few minutes, I guess, he didn't say exactly what time he was coming, so, let's do a little bit of a, a little bit of a crease thing going in the middle, I won't say it's too much of a cut crease, but just to blend out a little bit of the area in the middle, so I'll add that other little color right there in the center. Little pop of color in the middle. Like so. I do have hooded lids, so watch this. Put my eye down. One will always look bigger than the other. So I always have to go up a little bit higher, especially on this eye. This eye is bigger than this eye. So, and then I'm blind in this eye. So this eye looks more lazy. So I had to come up a little bit. So you had all be able to see the color on this eye. Let me bring my eye back a little bit. Because if I don't, it will look totally uneven. Okay. I don't have to go up on this one too much, but definitely on the right eye. Okay, let's see. I want to get as even as possible. I'm going to turn away from you guys just a little bit, okay? Charge to be hitting on my heart. Alright, I think that'll do me. Let me come over a little bit on this side. I think, think we got it. I think we got it. Let me see. A little bit more. Boom. Bam. Yeah. I think we got it. Alright. Now we're going to go on to work, this word called lucid. This pretty color right here. Hope y'all can see right here. Let me see if I can get that focus for you guys. This color right here on the end. I'm going to swatch that for you guys. Right there. See how pretty that is. Hold up. Let me move that. See if y'all can see that. Now. And swatch it really pretty it's gonna go right in the center really nice I have to use my finger I don't know let me, let me try a brush first try a brush 
And this is my uh, Illuminate brush number 18. Oh, can't use that brush. That brush ain't no good. I guess I better stick with my Morphe brushes. Let me get rid of that brush. I ain't, I'm not dealing with no, no raggedy brushes, y'all. Let me see. Let me find another Morphe brush then. Going to my Morphe brushes. And we're going to use this Morphe brush right here. This is a Morphe brush. There's no number down here. But it's this one right here. It's got a little oval on it. Eyeshadow brush. Okay. Kind of an oval brush. Dust it off a little bit. Okay, we're going to go right. I may need to spray it, but I don't know. We're going to try it without having to spray. I'm going to tap it on. Does it look like I need to spray it? And I don't. Don't have to spray, y'all. Nicely tapping it on. And I will have to smooth out the edges. So, so far so good on the color combination that we've used for this eye look. I appreciate everybody who watched this video today. I thank you guys so much for supporting my channel. Look forward to seeing more videos from me. I'm going to try to uh, cut down my hours at work a little bit and focus on my channel a little bit. Got to keep the money rolling though. So I'm going to be here. Trust me. Y'all just bear with me a little bit, okay? Really appreciate it. I think I want this to pop a little bit because it's showing up really nice. But I want that to bling. And my finger will give it that glow that I'm looking for. Or oh, I could, like I said, I could have sprayed the brush. Another palette uh, of ABH I want to give another chance is my subculture. I really didn't have a good experience with that palette out of all of them. It was my worst experience. But I want to give it another chance, honestly. So we have that color on. Now I'm going to go back into Osiris, which was this color right here that nice blue color and we're gonna go back around smooth it out just like that clean it up make sure I tap into the that color you want to clean up this area around that. Just like so. Got to clean it up. here y'all mm -mm -mm. let me go into a little bit of this black color here and this is called obsidian this is really deep black color right here it is really black so we're going to go into with our e18 brush i just got concealer on my finger because i did not close my concealer up <laughs> let me close that up <laughs> Go into obsidian. Tap. Go right into the corner here. Just like that. To deepen up that color. Just like so. But we don't want to cancel out the color we do have on there. Okay. 
Just adding more definition. Okay, a little bit on the inner corner. Just blending it into that nice, beautiful color. That's uh, I can't even explain the white in this. It's because it's got like a it's white, but it's gold. I guess a, a yellow gold. I really wanted it to be white, but hey, it works out. Okay, we're on this side. I'm trying to blend as evenly as possible. I want them to be even. So we're brushing towards the color. Inside and out. You all know how hard it is sometimes to do 12s, 12 hour shifts, and you have so many of them all at the same time, like within the same few days. It's like when you made it to day three, you're like worn out. <laughs> it's hard on the body sometimes. It takes your body a minute to try to catch up. Okay, I'm going to bring it over just a little bit. We go back into Osiris, that pretty blue color, and blend it out with the black. Like I said, I didn't want to cancel out the colors, but because both colors are deep, sometimes that happens, okay? Okay, take my pinky finger and go right back over this one, the white color which was like lucid, like I said. Okay. Just like so. Y'all see that? All right. This one may look a little uneven, like I said, I have to go up a little higher on this eye because this eye is bigger than this one. So now let me get a smaller brush, which will be my brush from, let's see. This is the Morphe brush. It's this little one right here, really tiny little brush, and it has a liner on the end that I never use because it's not like as keen as I want it to be, but I'm using this because I'm going to line my underbrow, <laughs> and I'm going to use that same color, just very lightly. sitting on the eye well. Hold on. Let me wet it because it's kind of hard. Okay. When you do the highlight under the brow like that, make sure brows appear to be a little bit higher than what they really are. Really pretty, but I'm not liking that brush. Because not, it's not applying like I really want it to. So what I'm going to do is change brushes. And I'm going to use my brush from BH Cosmetics. It's a little dome brush. It's the pink, pink -a dot collection. It's a little dome. I'm going to use that to go over my brow. There it is. See, it, uh, that brush is a little bit smoother. I'm still going to rub over with my finger to smooth it out. See there? If y'all can see that, same on this side. Give my brows a little bit more height. The illusion of height, anyway. Okay, smooth it out. Just like that. Really pretty. Okay. Okay, just like that. 
smooth like that. All right. Okay. I'm not going to put my inner corner on just yet because I have to do my eyes. But let me grab an eyeliner pencil. A liquid liner. Let's see what we got here. This is the LA Colors Grow Fix Eyeliner. Right here. And it's made like this. Very pointed, but it's a liquid liner as well. I'm just going to put it right into the lash line as close as I possibly can. Right at my lashes, as you can see. Just like that. I wanted to get as straight as possible. Y'all know I can't see that good, so I'm taking my time. Now, excuse me, I'm going to try not to talk through this process because I tend to mess up some. And it's, me not being able to see on this side makes me mess up sometimes. It'd be all wonky, real wonky. I try to get it as close as possible so I can hide the lash line when I put my lashes on. But I don't want too much on because I don't want to hide the middle beautiful eye color. They're in the center. So I try to get as close to the lash line as possible. Okay, there we go. Get this close enough. I'm not going to do a wing. Nah, -uh, no wing. Let that dry a little. Because that is liquid. Okay, we've got our eye on. We blend out the edges again just a little bit. Make sure we got a nice, pretty blend. Okay, how y'all liking that so far? All right. All right, now let's get our foundation on. All right, I'm going to move some things out of the way. And the foundation I'm going to use is from Milani. This is my first time trying this. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation and Concealer Combination. And mine is in 14 Golden Toffee. Okay. Right here. Okay. And I don't know if it's matte. Let me see. Let me look on the back. It says medium to full coverage. Uh, lightweight, oil-free formula. Long wear. Let me see. A few words I can't see. Water resistant and sweat proof. I love that because I sweat in my T-zone real bad. And I have oily skin too. All right. We got a few little pumps of that. And I'm going to get my sponge, a little dirty sponge, it ain't too dirty, but I only used it one time, so. I've already primed my face, like I said, with the uh, Tatcha, 
Hatcha Primer. Just like so. This is a very pretty color. Claims to be lightweight. I opened it already because I wanted to make sure it would be the right color. But even if it wasn't, I would make it work. And it is really pretty so far. Really pretty. I love it. It's very smooth. I don't mind having the medium coverage because I don't have a lot of flaws on my face. Nothing really to hide other than my under eye. Which is not even too bad. Get a little closer so y'all can see. Okay. Not too bad. I have been really working on my skincare. Most days when I'm off, especially on my off days or in the daytime, uh, make sure I don't wear makeup. I always do my skincare, take care of my skin. Uh, I make sure I use products that has uh, hyaluronic acid and retinol. Keep my skin looking nice and young and supple, wrinkle free. Bring down any crow's feet that might be wanting to develop. Keep my the elasticity, the last is elasticity in my skin very balanced. Got my hair cut again. I may let my hair start going out. I don't know. But it is spring and it will be coming in the summer soon. So wearing short hair is very good for me because with long hair, I sweat bad. I mean, I sweat profusely. Come down to the neck. Yeah, I sweat real bad. I hate to be hot. We've been had like a cool front lately, which is weird at this time of the year. But then again, when it rains like it, it can get cooler, as you all know. Can get a little cool. But it was like unseasonably cool the other night. What was that? Friday night it was cold. Like, whoa. I was invited to a uh, Passover on Friday, Good Friday, with a good friend of mine, Deanna. Shout out to Deanna. And um, we came out. It was, well, when we got there, it was cold. And I kept asking, should we wear stockings? <laughs> Which I didn't wear no stockings. And boy, I paid for it. But I was more cold in the neck than anything. I'm blending this foundation really good. I just want to make sure it's all good and even. As you all can see, I'm not trying to miss no spots. Not that you can tell. See how pretty that is. That is really pretty. That foundation is really pretty and it's so soft. I can't feel it on my on my skin. It feels so good. Oh, really nice. All right, now let's get some concealer. And my concealer I'll be using is also from Milani called Conceal and Perfect. It's a long wear concealer and it's like this. And this one is in the color, let me see, it's a 170 Warm Almond. So, and right down the center of my nose. I'm trying to cook it. To me yeah. around. Okay, like that. I'm going tribal.
like so. Move it here. Like that. Now I'm going to blend it out with our sponge. Like that. Blends so nice and smooth. This video is not sponsored. Let me go ahead and put that out there. None of my videos up to this point are sponsored, any of them. I love to have a sponsorship, but none of my videos are sponsored. So that's playing out really good, really pretty. My skin has golden undertone. Um, some days I'm golden, some days I'm neutral. So we keep up with the time, 4.45, making good timing. Hope you guys are liking this video. Please give me a thumbs up if you watch this video. Try not to make my video too long, but when you're talking, it tends to happen. Oh, that blended out so pretty. Come around here like so. Very nice around like that. Pat that in real good. Come over here where I put that little line. And we got really good. Come around to this side. Like so. Did you notice I'm turning my sponge? I do that because I want to make sure it's blending and it's not overpowering the, the foundation. Okay, got that. Y'all can see that. You can see the contour already, but gotta go into my contour. And I'm gonna be using, should have had all this stuff out, <laughs> my Anastasia Contour Kit. And it's in the Deep Contour Kit. And I'm gonna use this color right here in the center. And yes, it's get, it gets a lot of love. All right, let me grab my brush. And I'm going to grab my Morphe brush, this is my pretty dome brush here. Tap that in. Like so. Okay. Same here. Really pretty. Snatch them jaw bones. Yes, they did y'all that. I'm trying to get snatched. Mm -hmm. Just like that. I already have high cheekbones, and I'm bringing my contour up a little higher. Right under the lip, to, so my lips can appear fuller, because I have a little bit of lips. Just like that. Darken under the lip. Now I'll get my contour brush. This is the Firma 201 brush, 202 brush. This uh, little angle brush. See that? 
go down the bridge of my nose snatch our nose I love a good contour snatch nose and my nose is small but I want some definition to that little nose bring this up into the eyes right up in here just like so y'all see that okay now come around the perimeter of my forehead just like that Come on around, just like that. Now, y'all see that? All right. Now let me get my setting powder for my concealer. It's set long enough. I'm going to use the Huda Beauty, and this is in the cinnamon bun. Try to take the tab off without shaking stuff everywhere. There's a nice little protective tab on the inside. Take that off. Make sure it goes into the top. This pretty color here. Let's see if I can see that. Focus. Okay. My sponge. I'm not going to bake. I'm just going to set my concealer I look down and up because I don't want it to crease in the eye lines I do have like one eye line but I don't want it to sit in. I want it to set to take away the line. So I look down and up. Just like so. Down the center of my nose. Let me turn around. And I'll be crooked. Just like that. Just like that. And right in the center of my forehead. Where we want the brightening to be. like that. Y'all know I'm left handed so I might be putting the hand over the face. And on my chin. And here. But not powder. In my cup. In my top I mean. Okay. Just like so. Okay. I'll have to set but a minute. I don't have to do no long baking. Get my smile lines. Because so I like to smile throughout the day. I smile all the time. Okay, you like that. I'm gonna set that in there real good. Let's get us set. That nose popping. May have to go over my uh nose contour again.
we're done with the powder. I'm going to go in with a little bit lighter powder. This is my Dermablend powder. It's in saffron. And I'm going to come right in here. It's a little bit lighter. A bit more brightening. Brighten up in my eyes real good. And it's a little lighter as well. See how far I go up into the eye? That's why I didn't want to put my inner corner highlight on yet. Okay. Derma blend is really good with heightened tattoos as well. My daughter had to go to the military and she had some little star tattoos running down her neck and we use our dumber blend to hide them because they have a when you're going into the uh, military especially the navy i know for sure uh during your boot camp you can't have any tattoos or at least they can't be showing but hers was just so happened to be going up her neck so we used to dumber blend to hide those okay a little bit up here, a little bit more lighten. Then I like to frown sometimes and I get little wrinkles like right up top by right above my brows. So I try to get that derma blend to kind of mesh those down a little bit. Okay, we got that. We're all through with that. Okay, put that over there. Now I need my contour palette. This is by um, Black Radiance and it's in the dark to deep. This is a new one. I have the other one which is in medium to dark. But this is the newer one so I just want to try this one. It's a contour shade, a scope, and we have a highlight. I'm going to go into this contour. Very lightly because it's very pigmented. Not sponsored. Deepen my jawline a little bit because I want to snatch my jawbone. I love to see my jawline very prominent. I want it to be very obvious. Okay. Yeah. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to blend it out now because it's kind of harsh right now. I'm going to blend it out. My nose snatched. Okay, we're done with that. So let me get my bronzer. My favorite bronzer. And it's the Queen Collection by CoverGirl. And it's an ebony bronzer. And I'll get my favorite bronzing brush, which is by Ulta Beauty. This one right here, favorite bronzer. Swirl that in and soften up the contour. Bring all of it together, nice and smooth. it up I go to work looking like a queen with them snatch bones baby all right let's get some blush my favorite blush which is from the Juvia's Place Sahara 2 palette this one right here it is in bay right here good focus that y'all get a chance to see Right here, I've been using that. I mean, not that one, this one. Yep. My favorite. And I'm going to use, let me find my Morphe Angle Blush Brush. Right here. Favorite blush brush. 
really soft brush. Pat that in and bring it right up. Very lightly. I don't wear a lot of blush, but I just want to make sure I have some on to bring the color back in my face. Okay, get my cheeks. Rosy up my cheeks a little bit. Just like that. Bring it up. Like my rosy cheeks. A little bit of a rose in the cheeks. Very soft. Okay, we're done with that. Okay, now highlighter. Grab my highlighter. I got some other highlighters that I really, really want to try. And they're from Wet n Wild. I have not opened these yet. But I just bought these. They're from Wet n Wild. I have one that's a rose gold color. It's called All Grown, All Glown Up. And it's a rose gold color. Have not opened it yet. And this one is called Hustle and Glow. And it's a gold. So, thinking I may need to use the gold one. You're going to try it. It's a loose powder. I'm going to try it. See what it's all about. But I like Wet n Wild's highlighters. They are really good, cheap, and good. Okay, open that up and be careful. It's made, it says peel here. Look how that's made. Let you know how the inside's made. I don't know if that's a cap or if that's plastic. Let's see. Let's see. It says peel, so it's definitely plastic. Let me get some peel that off. My fingers can't reach in there. I think any loose powder should have a tab where it can, it's a peel up tab. It'll be easier for anybody to grip. So, I've got it. Okay. Hope this color is okay. So, let's see. But I'm going to put a little bit on the top. Very lightly tap. Here it is. I'm going to swatch it because I can't really tell. I'm going to swatch it on my hand. Let me take this other color off first. Now, swatch this on my hand. It's really gold. Oh, that's pretty. Hold on. Let me get a little bit more so y'all can see that. See, in the pan, watch this. Taps off gold. You can see it. Now, put a little bit more on my hand. I'm going to swirl it. But y'all really see that color. It's really pretty. Hope y'all can see that even washed out by my lights. See? Really pretty. So I'm gonna have to really go in subtle. Look at my finger. Really pretty. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna go in really light, really softly. So let's see. This is the Morphe M401. Highlighting brush, one of my favorites. Tap it light. Okay. Oh yeah. It's going on smooth. Okay. I see you waiting while. Like I said, this video is not sponsored. This product that I'm trying out. Oh, that's pretty. Come on around the face. Oh, that's pretty. Oh. Ooh. Really pretty. Mm -hmm. Oh. Wow. Mm -hmm. Come on the face a little bit to blend it out. Whisper. Pop it. 
Rub it on my nose. Boop. Hope y'all can see that. I'm just turning all away from y'all like I'm crazy. Make it like that. Ooh. Oh Lord, hold up. All right, we got it. Bam. Leave it on the Cupid's bow. Really pretty. It's my mom. I have to call her back. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. A little bit under the brow bone, mm -hmm. so we already highlighted mm -hmm. the brow bone. A little bit over the eyes, over the forehead. I'll call mommy back in a minute. A little bit on the chin. Oh, it's pretty. Oh, good. Y'all, I recommend this highlighter. I really do. It's so pretty. But I'm going to tone that highlighter down a little bit. I'm going to grab my Fenty Beauty. This is how many carrots. Okay. And I'm going to use my Morphe M437 brush. I love this brush. I swirl it in like this and I go over that highlighter to bring it down a little bit but give it a nice glossy wet look. Just like so. A little bit in the forehead. Just like so. Bring it down a little bit. Okay, let's get our lip on. And I'm going to get my beautiful, let me see, I got a new one I want to try. This is by Hard Candy, really pretty color. It's a gloss though. And then let me grab a lip liner, which is my, let me see, I think it's one from NYX Club Hopper, my favorite. I'm not through with the eyes, but I want to go and get this part over with. Okay, this is a gloss I'm about to put on. I wanted to try because I thought the packaging was so pretty and the color inside was so pretty. Mm -hmm. See that? Really pretty. Now, this is what it looks like. Nice packaging. Very nice. That's so pretty, isn't it? Mm, mm, mm. Let's take the tab off. Okay. Okay. Let me see that packaging again. That color is really pretty. And let's see what the color it's called. It's a plumping serum, mm. and it's volumizing lip gloss. Okay, see what if the colors on here is called. Let me see. It says brilliant. I'm wondering if that's the name of it. Not sure because I don't see it. It's called Second Base. Okay. All right. Let's try this. It's a gloss. Let's see. Oh. Nice. Mm. Nice high gloss. Yes, it's brilliant. Oh, it's pretty. Look at that, y'all. Mm, mm, mm. It ain't sticky at all. Really pretty. That color is amazing. Oh, my goodness. I'm glad I picked it up. Mm. They had like eight of these. I'm going to go get the other seven. All right, now let's finish my eyes. Let me close up the highlighter. I'm 
I want no accident things. All right. Let's see. Under the eye. Getting back into our prism palette. And I think I want to go into. Hmm. Throne is a pretty color. It's green though. It looks green in the pan at least. Well, it's not quite green. It has a green hue to it. Okay, I'll say that. This has a nice green hue to it. So I'll see that real good. I hope y'all can see that. Let me look at my monitor. Yeah, it's got a nice green hue to it. I'm not going to do that. Let me see. I may just go into uh, Parallel, which is this pretty brown. Just a small guy at the bottom lash line. We just do that. Let's, we're just going to keep it simple, okay? And we're going to use the E18. This is another E18. I have several. Just a smoke off the bottom lash line. Give my eyes some definition. Just like that, smoke it out. Now I need to go back in to Osiris, our blue color. Bring it on around. Like I said, we're not doing a wing. I want it well connected. Nice. Okay, there it is, y'all. Let me get my inner corner highlight. Like a little spotlight in there. Little twinkle, twinkle. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, that's so pretty. Just like that. I don't want to overdo it. Y'all know I can be extra. All right. Let me go back up on my brow bone just for giggles. Y'all know the other part. Oh, man. Go over top of my lip. Touch that like I should have. Let's see. Woo wee. All right. There we got it, y'all. Let's get me some mascara and lashes. This is a long video. Ugh, the mascara I'm going to be using is the Ulta Beauty. Little exclusive to Ulta Beauty. I like this lash. This uh, mascara. I didn't know it was this good. I just opened it. I did not know it was this good. And I tapped my eye. I let it dry. I get it off. That's a really nice mascara. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, it's so pretty. Oh. It's 
surprised my son hadn't showed up yet. I didn't even ask him what time he had to be at work. Oh, that's the reason why he was coming by. I almost don't want to put no lashes on. This is a nice mascara. Excuse me, y'all, if I'm hiding y'all, but I'm left-handed. So I do everything with my left hand. All my right hand good for is holding things. These things. Okay. Y'all dirty mats. Okay. Okay, bottom lash line. Oh, we just got a lot come out of there. Okay, gotta be careful. It's a really nice mascara. Nice packaging as well. I love things that glow. I don't know why. But rose gold and gold and pink. Oh, they be so pretty. I love things that shine. Metallics and chrome. Really pretty. Ooh. How y'all think so far? Leave a comment down below. Tell me if you like this I look. Okay, let's get these lashes on. Let me move some of these brushes, y'all. I got so many brushes in the way. Move some of this stuff out of my way. Got my mascara. I'm going to leave my mascara out because I need the mascara. I need the mascara. Oh, I didn't put my top back in my, uh, my hood of beauty. Let's get these brushes out of the way. The brushes are taking over. The vanity. Get it out. Oh yeah, I had I use a lot of brushes. All right, move some things. Move some things. Try to stay organized as possible. Out. <laughs> Let me grab these lashes, y'all. And these are my kiss lashes. These are called Look So Natural Kiss Lashes. Uh, they don't know. It says lightweight and comfortable. I've used one pair already. I have them already out. I could just go ahead and put those back on. All right. I'm just going to put those back on. Or if I could not just put no lashes on at all. That's so pretty without the lashes. That's some good mascara, y'all. Look at this time, y'all. 519. I'm doing good. So, let me grab my lashes. Grab, grab some glue. This is one long video, I tell you that much. Put my glue on. Y'all bear with me. You know I can't really see too good. I gotta put too much glue on because I tend to do that. And this, um, uh, the last line is very thin, so I gotta be very careful with that. Okay. Be very careful. Comment down below if you want uh, me to try out another eyeshadow palette that you want me to get or try out 
it could be drugstore or a higher end brand doesn't matter I am here to try out new products too old and new because it may be an old product but it might be new to me but just suggest in the comment section below okay let's get the lashes on just try anyway y'all bear with me okay get the glue on my fingers see if I can get these on Gripping, they so thin. Ooh, super thin. Okay, got that one on. I didn't have too much of a hard time this time. Hey. Bean lashes. Okay. Number two. See how we do. Oh, shoot. Oh, hold up. Stick to my finger. You know, let me wipe my fingers off. Okay. Let's go. Sticking to my lashes. Okay, I think we got it. Come we'll back up, hold up, go back down in there. Grab one of my tools. Okay. Make sure it's right into the lash line. Just like so. Ah. Yeah, I did pretty good this time. Get my lashes on. He's be a nice struggle. Nice little strip. I'm going to pour some up like this. Bring our lashes up. The way they fit right into the lash line. Make sure the glue is good and down. I like my lashes to stand. Yeah, I'm glad they have a nice curl to them. Now we're going to grab our mascara and marry the lashes together. Like so. Marrying the lashes together. Just like that. Back down here to make my eyes pop. I'm gonna put a little highlight in the waterline okay. in my bottom line. Let me grab my liner and it's white. This is a NYX and it's in white, it's a new one, so I have not opened it yet. Ooh 
I'm thankful that they put these, that all of our products are wrapped. Oh my goodness. I had to bite that one. Man. Got that one open. All right, putting that in, like I said, the water line. And now I came over the top. What in the world? <sighs> Y'all look at that. I don't want to come out. Oh my goodness. Ah, oh, my, my. Then it look like it needs sharpening. Did they leave some of that in the top? I guess I got to sharpen it. Mm -mm. Ain't good pencil sharpeners. That thing got a tip on it. It might be inside of it. That's probably why I'm stuck too. Go ahead and sharpen it. There we go. All right. Whew. Brighten up our eyes with this water line in white. Give us some more pizzazz. I know I like to be extra. Some in my eye. Oh my goodness. I got a little glue on my eye. Mm. Okay, let's pop this on the waterline. Ah. Like my eyes look open, like wide open. <laughs> I think it fits the eyes very well. I see that? Oh, let me look at myself. Oh, mm -mm. okay. How y'all liking that? Oh my goodness. Get down a little bit. Make my eyes look doll like. I gotta turn away from y'all for a minute. Open our eyes wide. All right. Where the top? Where I put the top? 
Okay, mascara. We in the building, y'all. We are in the building. Oh. All right. Let me get my mold. You know how I feel about my mold. That was my son. I want to answer this. Hello? Where you at? Hello? Uh-huh. So when you coming? Yeah. You can, yeah. Okay. You're fine. Girl, oh. It's a wonder. It's a wonder you have it. I'm surprised. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I thought she was working. Huh? I thought she was working. Oh, Lord. Oh, okay. Well, you got some over here, too. Don't forget about that. Yours? Remember you came the other day and I told you? And uh, you got some a lean cuisine or something in the, fridge, in the freezer. Yeah, it is. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Mm-hmm. Well, they be here if you can, in case you need them, though. Well, let me... Uh-uh. Ain't gonna tell them what I might have in my bag at work, though. Yeah, I might have some in there. I ain't gonna say for sure. But let me get out of this phone so I, can, I gotta get through. It's 5.30. All right. I love you, too. Bye. All right, y'all. Let me spray my face. Bring this makeup look together. You know, like soap in it. Oh, wow. Look at my fan. So, y'all. Y'all see that glow? This is the finished look. I hope y'all like it. If you watch this video, like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to have you as a part of the Urban Beauty community. And please push that notification bell so you'll know every time I upload a video. So, we did our look with the Prism Palette. This lovely palette here, the Prism Palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills. This video is not sponsored. And we also used her, uh, the Contour Kit in Deep. And we used our highlighters from Wet n Wild. And the one I used today was the Hustle Ink Glow. Used that one. We used the NYX liner pencil. And we used our new Hard Candy lip gloss. And I said second base. We used the Huda Beauty um, Satin Powder and Cinnamon Bun. And we use our mascara from Ulta Beauty. And we highlighted my inner corner with the, also the palette. So, 
that was today's look. I hope you all like it. Let y'all see that once again. Hope y'all like it. Oh, it's been a great video. Very long video. I was not expecting it to be this long. But hey, hope y'all like it. If you like it, give me a thumbs up. Even in the comments and a thumbs up on the board. So this is Sheila She's Beautiful Urban. And until next time, peace, love, and taco grease. Love you guys. Bye. I think it stopped. I don't know. <laughs> Not that's a blooper. <laughs> but this is Sheila She's Beautiful Urban with our Anastasia Beverly Hills Prison Pal.